I think this is the first time I cover my hair with this much oil. Hair oiling, it is so simple when it comes to only applying the oil to your hair. But what about the nightmare when it's time to wash it out of your hair and you realize you weren't able to? Anyone? No worries because I'm going to show you the mistakes that you should avoid before and after and the right steps to take so that you can get rid of hair oils in one single wash. Hi, my name is Dodo and I make natural beauty videos here on YouTube so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be part of the Pura Vida family. So the first thing you're gonna do is to pick an oil that it is the most suitable for your hair, right? To make things a little bit more challenging for this video, I'm going to soak one side of my hair with coconut oil and the other side with olive oil. Wow, that's crazy. The reason these two oils were selected is because they are heavy oils. And from personal experience, heavy oils like coconut oil and olive oil are extremely difficult to wash it out of your hair. And if you don't know how, you'll lose your mind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of you know what I'm talking about. Are you okay? There are two important things that you must know before you apply an oil to your hair. First thing, the oil you're gonna use must be natural. I know this sounds ridiculous, but some hair oils that you see in the market contains additives like mineral oil, fragrance scents, and some other ingredients They are a big no-no. These oils don't penetrate the hair shaft. Instead, they cover your hair with a film, which is not gonna contribute to make your hair better, and they're also difficult to wash them out of your hair so what you're gonna do is to look into the product ingredient list and the exact oil that you choose should be the only ingredient listed in there the second thing that you must know is one of the biggest mistakes that you can make when it comes to hair oiling which is soaking your hair with heavy oils applying too much oil is only gonna contribute to make it harder for you to wash it out of your hair the next day you really don't need to soak your hair in oil to get awesome results Remember, a little always goes along with these oils. One hour later. Now that my hair is absolutely soaked in coconut oil and olive oil, just for the sake of this video, No! God, please, no! It is important to let any hair oil sit on your hair overnight so that you let it do the thing. And the way to boost your results is by covering your hair with a scarf, shower cap, or a microfiber towel like the one that I'm using right now so that you can lock the heat during the night. Sorry. Hey guys, good morning. I think this is the first time I cover my hair with this much oil. I'm gonna go in the shower and show you step by step how to wash out oils out of your hair. All right, it is time to wash the oils out of your hair. And this is where you need to pay the most attention because I did something different in the way I wash my hair that changed the outcome completely so then you don't have to make the same mistake. When you are inside of the shower, the first thing you're gonna do is to turn on the lukewarm water and then place your hair under the water for about a minute. This is gonna help to soft the oils. The following step is super important because it makes sure that the oil gets break down so before shampooing you need to do a pre-wash with my green tea hair rinse all you're gonna do is to slowly pour the rinse on your scalp and hair so then you can cover your hair entirely It is time for shampoo and here's the mistake that I discovered that maybe you are doing so that you can avoid it from now on. So when you have heavy oils on your hair, it is core to divide your hair in sections while you shampoo. So let's say one section will be focused on only rinsing the scalp first and then the other section will be focused on rinsing the middle to the ends of your hair. It all depends on how much hair and length you have. The most important thing is to form some foam on your hair while you are rinsing it and also use your fingertips to massage those sections really really well in this result I didn't shampoo my hair in sections so as you can see roots are not greasy but the back of my hair and part of the middle of my hair are still greasy compared to this result where I follow these exact steps you can see that my hair from root to ends doesn't have a single greasy hair and it looks much better than the first result 
Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, green tea is so powerful, guys. Besides providing tons of antioxidants to your hair, it will also remove buildup. It will help you to reduce the amount of oil sitting on your hair. And this include a natural and also if you hair oiling, it will be super beneficial. By the way, I'm going to link these videos in the description down below. So make sure to check them out if you are interested. Just if you're interested, okay.